Good evening, family and friends. Good evening. My name is Eureka Mack. Before I move on with my speech, I just have to thank God for blessing me with the opportunity to be standing here tonight. Before I come and help inspire ministries, I felt really lost. I didn't know where to turn. I knew I always had a home, but sometimes home didn't feel like home. Depression kept me down. My support system was shaky. And the sweet sensation of feeling love just wasn't there. I used to be what I consider a condition of praise, which means I would only pray when things were hard and live selfishly all other days. Well, today, I'm here, graduating Hope Inspired Ministry. I am so very thankful to have had the opportunity to attend classes here. I've learned about building self-esteem and having faith. I remember when I would pray, but I never read the Bible because sometimes the words were too confusing. But here at Hope Inspired Ministry is where I learned the breakdown of the Bible. I was also taught basic but well-needed job training skills. I learned the importance of sacrifice, sacrificing my free and fun times for a study time. Most of all, I, love to feel, I learned to feel the love of staff. Now that my time in this program has expired, I plan to obtain a decent job and continue working towards my GED. My goal for having my GED is no later than September 30, 2015. By the end of this year, I plan to have my trade as a certified nursing assistant and will begin working towards my dream career as a social worker. I plan to continue working on bettering myself and help serve those throughout the community. I will also continue working on my relationship with God so that one day I too can be a true Christian. I start my new job Monday. <laughs> Before I go, I would like to give a heartfelt thanks to my internship, Agape, for such a wonderful experience. I would also like to say thank you to my grandfather, Samuel Brooks, who has always been there for me. Thank you to my lovely classmates and friends, Sophia, Tabrisha, and Keona, for always giving me a reason to laugh. I truly hope you all find great success in the near future. Thank you, lunch doms and mentors. You were greatly appreciated. Thank you, Leanne, Michael, and John, for sitting and talking with me. <laughs> a very special thanks go to a very smart and understanding, caring young lady by the name of Elizabeth Richards. Thanks for the late and sometimes long text messages expressing your care for me. Thank you for the many prayers, small talks, and the extra push you always gave me. I love you, Elizabeth. Thank you for it all, Hope Inspired Ministries, and thank you, God. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Jaria Fuller. Before coming to Hope Inspired Ministries, I was hanging with the wrong crowd, sitting around smoking and drinking with friends. Nothing. Looking forward in life, but looking at the past. But where I am today is a good job program that helped me learn a lot that I didn't know. I have learned to do interviews, a lot of job skills, different subject types like spelling, grammar, and military time. My past was a lot of trouble. Today I am looking forward to my future and following my right path to get through life. My goal is to finish my GED, start school, and work with crime scene investigations. I want to thank my mother for encouraging me to go to school every morning and keeping me on the right track. I also want to thank my family for keeping my head going, telling me I can make it and don't give up. I really enjoyed my internship at Holiday Inn Express. Thank you to Mr. George Sanders for teaching me and giving me the opportunity to gain experience. I want to thank my teachers, Ms. Leanne, for a lot of stuff I didn't know, and taking and being patient and looking out for me, and Miss Ashton for spelling and vocabulary and teaching a lot that I didn't know, and coming in smiling with us every day and making us happy and working with us. And I also want to thank Miss Elizabeth for working with us on our internships and doing well with our jobs, and Mr. Michael for always coming to us and reading and teaching us about the Bible, which I enjoy a lot. I also want to thank my mentor, Ms. Linda, for praying for me and keeping me on the right track and good conversation, taking her time to come and see me every Thursday and for helping me be a better person. Thanks to all the lunch donors for providing us food every day. Thanks so much. And last but not least, I want to thank my classmates, my friend Antonio for keeping me laughing for all the memories during class and for keeping me motivated. Thank y'all and have a blessed night. Good evening. My name is Antonio Robson. Before I started coming to Hope Inspired Ministries, I felt like I was going on the wrong track. 
I didn't know what to do. I dropped out of high school because I struggled with being bullied. When I started at HIM, it was all about learning, teaching, caring, forgiving, and hard work. I see why it's called Hope Inspired Ministry. It's because it gives you hope. When I came here, I was scared, shy, and didn't think people would like me. I started class with the idea of not talking to anyone. I, but that plan didn't work out. I met some friends who made me laugh. One of the life skills I learned about was self-esteem and how to better low self-esteem and high self-esteem. I learned to just give it your all and don't think you're better than anyone else. Just pat yourself on the back and say, I did it. I conquered and I survived. In my, <laughs> in my past, I didn't want to communicate with anyone or, or smile or tell people that I love them. Now I can't do all of that. All I have to do is just stay positive. When I leave here, my goals are to finish my GED and work very hard. And I want to go to college and help the homes and give back to my mama and my auntie Justin. But I have to pray. I want to give thanks to my teachers, my mentors, friends, and family. Thank all of you for being by my side through these rough and amazing 13 weeks. What would I have done without you? Thank all of you. Thank all of you who took the time out to talk to me about my dreams and keep me pushing and motivating me. And thank you for making me laugh, especially Jareel. I fought hard, I survived, I conquered, and I finished. Love all of you. Thank you. Hello, my name is Kiana Pendleton. Before I come to Hope Inspired Ministries, I recruited my baby boy. I always let myself down and I told myself that I would never be anything in life. I always thought I was an ugly girl. I had very low self esteem because of my skin breakouts. Now that I have a beautiful baby boy, I have to realize that he will always look to his parents, so therefore, I have to be a good role model for him. While being in Hope Inspired Ministries, I learned a lot of things. In addition to school work and job skills, I learned other, other important things like God will love you no matter what you have done, and he will always be close to your heart. In my past, I liked to hang around the wrong crowd. We used to run the streets at night after sneaking out the house. But in the end, I, but in the end, I, I, I was always the good girl. I did those things just to fit in. Now I feel more independent and have a small group of positive friends. I don't club pop and I don't smoke. I'm just a calm, fun girl still around. When I leave Hope Inspired Ministries, I hope to leave them with a positive injury. My goals are to get into the nursing field and be a traveling nurse or join the military. As a nurse and make a better life for my son. I want to create a safe environment for my son and get right with God. Every morning, Mr. Michael or Mr. John will come read a scripture from the Bible. I give them my undivided attention because the Lord is speaking to me through them. Once I remember getting, getting called to Mr. Michael's office, my heart was racing and I thought I was in major trouble. I don't think they could get mad at me though. Come on, look at this smile. <laughs> the most important thing we studied was holistic hardware. Holistic Heart will help us with different life skills. My favorite one was the self-esteem. I enjoyed these 13 weeks at Hope Inspired Ministries. I really learned a lot. They really inspired me, especially Miss Lynn. She is very challenging. I have nothing but respect for every last one of you. You made me become a better man. I am so glad I made friends with Sophia and Eureka. And I would like to thank my fellow classmates, Brisha Albright, for understanding me. Thank you to all my classmates. I am glad I found these trustworthy, cool, funny friends who I've been at Hope Spy Ministries. I would like to thank my mentor, Miss Christy, for sharing those lovely Bible verses with me. I carry them with me everywhere I go because they help me be patient with people and not lose my temper. I'd like to thank my supervisor in my internship at Amcroft Assistant Living, Miss Moore and Miss Corinthia for helping me while I was with them 
for six weeks. Also, thanks to Ms. Barbara and Ms. Elizabeth for teaching me the things I needed to learn about holistic hardware and career development. You rock. <laughs> I want to thank my son's father for always encouraging me to do better and showing show him he cared about my future. He wants to see me do more of my talent, even though we have been in this rocket boat lately. I still love you. You are my friend and most important, my son's father. Thanks to my mom for always pushing me forward in life and waking me up in the morning and keeping my son a while out there to myself. Most important, I would like to thank God for not giving up on me. I would like to close my speech with a quote from the movie Sister Act. If you want to be somebody and you want to go somewhere, you got to wake up and pay attention because it's the real world out there. And it don't matter how hip you think you are or who you kick it with. If you don't have an education, you don't have anything. And that's the truth, honey. This is not the end of my journey. I'm just beginning. Thank you and all good night. How y'all beautiful people doing out there? <laughs> Hello, my name is Quentin Sultan. I am 21 years old and I'm a graduate of Carver High School. Today I would like to tell you about my life behind Hope Inspired, before Hope Inspired Ministry. I was born and raised in Gill Village in Montgomery, Alabama, and now I am the youngest of five children. Life was pretty good so far up until middle school. I kept getting kicked out of class, kept getting suspended for stupid stuff. I did all those things because, hey, if I act like a bad guy, I could get a girlfriend. <laughs> that plan ended horribly. <laughs> I was, also, I was also constantly bullied. I was picked on so much that even the teachers started to join. I never did my work in class, which caused me to flunk the sixth grade. And I couldn't be caught in the same grade because that would make me a bigger target. So I had to go to summer school. Fast forward to high school. I kept making bad decisions that would lead me on a path of nowhere. Throughout my high school time, I missed a lot of opportunities. Things like skipping the ASVAB test and not taking my ACC test. I had no plans for what to do after high school. After my high school graduation, I decided to get a job. I was hired to get a job but couldn't hold on to them because of a transportation problem. As I continued for, like, searching for a job, I was constantly lectured and told that I needed to make a future for myself. I was depressed and tired of the same routine. It's been going on a while when a friend recommended me to a place called Hope Inspired Ministries. At first I was thinking, oh great, another school. But I knew it was my only option. And now I'm here I am, speaking to you in front of you lovely people. <laughs> I have learned a lot in the past 13 weeks. From grandma all the way to learning to what to do and what not to do in interviews. I have learned many new skills at my internship at Foshi Design, Design and Construction. In the past, I never had goals for myself. Now I do. My plan is to find a job I like to work in for a few years. After that, I would like to pursue a master's degree in engineering. My next goal is to own my own house, and I would like a family. My hopes and dreams are seen differently. I don't always see myself as the boy who everyone doubts, the boy who always got the show in the stick, or the boy who was kicked while he was down. I know that I had some shortcomings, but they are in the past. I am proving on things every day. One of my great strengths is perseverance. I will not give up or quit. I would like to thank Hope Inspired Ministry for giving me the skills and knowledge to make me successful in life. I would like to thank Common Ground, Herb Seas Exchange, my friends, my family, and my mentor, Kevin King. In closing, I want to share a quote from a recent movie that I like. Some wander in the wastelands to find the two shillings. I feel like I have been lost for a while, but now I'm starting to find my two shillings. Thank you and have a good night. Peace. Hello, my name is Sophia Baker. Before I came to Hope Inspired Ministry, I was lost with no direction and living the wrong way. I was battling with depression, low self esteem. I'm glad God put, put Hope Inspired Ministries in my life. They accepted me as I was a confused person who needed structure and goals. The three-month commitment to the program wasn't easy. It seemed obstacles came up without notice. My family and staff at Hope Inspired Ministry encouraged me to keep pushing hard. I am especially motivated by my daughter, Olivia. I was 16 years old when me and my boyfriend 
found out we were soon to be parents. We were living together and going to Lee High School at the same time. I think both of us knew we weren't really ready for a baby, but we had to grow up and make a lot of decisions. We both stopped going to school when I was three months pregnant. I was not thinking clearly at the time how much school was important. When Olivia was born, I woke up and thought about my future plans to get my head in the game by going to school and getting a good job to support Olivia and me. I was not My life has been so much more balanced since Hope Inspired Ministry. I really am thankful for having this opportunity in my life. My dream in life is to stop using the government and to go get a good job. I want to give my daughter Olivia the best example so she doesn't have to depend on the government or other people. I am going to accomplish my goals by studying and working hard to finish my GED and going to college to get a degree to be a computer technician. I start my job Monday. I really I really want to thank Hope Inspired Ministry staff for motivating me to come back when I was discouraged and quit. Without Hope Inspired Ministry, I would not be the person I am today. I thank them for the encouragement the, ho the whole way through the program. I would like to say that I am proud of all my classmates sticking together as a family. Albert Einstein said, everybody is a genius, but if you judge a fish by its ability to climb a tree, it lives its whole life believing it's stupid. I would like to say thank you to Family Guidance Center for giving me the opportunity to come internship with them. Also, thanks to my mentor, Donna Robson, for spending time with me during lunch. Most importantly, I would like to thank the man above for the confidence and the faith for helping me finish this program. Thank you for coming and have a great night. Good afternoon. My name is Tabricia Albright. Before Hope Inspired Ministries, I used to sit at home and do nothing. Did not work, did not go to school. Of course I wanted to work and go to school, but I had no luck in finding a job, so I gave up. When I was going to school, I was not much of a trouble child. My biggest problem was I did not try. I gave little effort in my work. It was not like I could not do the work, I just did not try. A friend told me about Hope Inspired Ministries and I decided I would give it a try. I called Miss Ashton and we set up an interview. I was very excited, but about a month after, I found out I was pregnant. So I had to wait till after I had my baby to start. But I did and I was very determined to finish. Let me tell you a little something about my journey. Hope Inspired Ministries, I must admit, was not easy at all. But I did it, and here I am. At Hope Inspired Ministries, we learned the necessary skills needed on and off of a job. Also, we learned about budgeting our money. One of my short-term goals is to complete my GED. My long-term long goals are to attend, attend the University of Tennessee and study nursing. My number one and most important goal is to be a great mom to my son, Jordan. I want to thank my mother, Shawana Marshall, for bringing me to school every morning. I also want to thank my mother, Bunny Marshall, for watching my son while I go to school. I want to thank my sisters and my big cousins, Kier Marvin, Ladeja Albright, the Terrific Albright, and Jadea Artis. Thank you for coming to eat lunch with me, Ms. Harrison. You were. <laughs> the whole entire HIM staff, Elizabeth, Leanne, Miss Michael, Mr. Michael, Miss <laughs> Barbara, Mr. John, and Erica. I love you all. Thank you for everything. I want to thank the downtown YMCA for treating me like I was actually a part of the team. Another thanks goes to my son, Jordan, my best friend, Jamaica. I love you both. Thank you, Sophia, Eureka, and Kiana for keeping us laughing. 
Last but not least, thank you to my father, Mr. Albright. Thank you for coming. Have a great time.